Hello again! Can you smell that? It's competition season. The holidays are over, January rolls around, and it's Aka competition season. Doesn't matter if you're in high school, college, or an adult, there's a competition for you. ICCAs, the ICHSAs, or the Harmony Sweepstakes. Fact is, not all acapella groups compete. Fact is, not all acapella groups have to compete, but it's there for you if you want. And if you want it, you want to do it the right way, right? Right. So, here are a few pointers, a few things to think about that are universal across all a cappella competitions. Number one, know your strengths and play to them. Your best soloist, your best arranger, your most interesting song choices. If you've been performing for a long time, you already know what your best songs are. But if you haven't, think about it. Take your best arranger and have them work on great songs that perfectly fit your best soloists. And ideally, you can put your own spin on the songs. So you're not just replicating what's on the radio, but you're doing something new, something interesting, something unique, something that's gonna make the audience go, ooh, I like that. And as far as your overall group sound is concerned, play to those strengths as well. If you're great at intricate rhythms, but not so good at blend, play up those intricate rhythms. If you're much better at close, dense harmonies, make your set all about close, dense harmonies. You don't have to do everything for a great competition set. As a matter of fact, if you try to do everything, some things are gonna show your weaknesses. Instead, play to your strengths. You're only dealing with 10 minutes, 12 minutes, get out there, rock. And if you do it right, nobody will be wondering what you didn't do. Because nobody expects any musician to do everything, they only want them to do what they do well and do it over and over and over again. Make sense? Next, don't be afraid to get outside help with things you're not great at. No acapella group is great at choreography. I'm sorry, they're just not. Maybe one, but for the most part, no. So if you're gonna be moving a lot, get somebody who spends all of their time moving the same way you spend all of your time singing. Plus, if you're in college, the, the, the dancers, the, the, have you, they are so hot. Why would you not call them? It gives, this gives you, hello? And okay, so you're not in college anymore, you're an adult? Still, dancers are hot. I mean, right? Hello? Call. Same thing goes with other aspects of your performance. Get an outside coach. It's always good to have somebody listen to you with a different, fresh set of ears. Plus, you can coach and judge yourself to some extent with video, but ultimately having another person in the room and somebody who can push and pull and play with you and see how things are actually existing in real time in three dimensions. That can make a big difference between being good and being amazing. Next, take whatever set you're gonna do and do it in front of people. Don't make the first time you perform this perfect little 10, 12 minute jewel be on the stage in front of the judges. That's, a, that's not a great idea. Do that set on stage, in front of people, at your school, uh, in your community, at a concert. Make sure those, those muscles are exercised on stage with an audience as opposed to just in a rehearsal room because you're going to see it's going to feel different. You'll have less air capacity as you're nervous. The stage might be different dimensions than you were expecting. Uh, the, the amount of audience applause might change or throw off a little bit of your timing in the middle of the set. All of that stuff, work it out before you end up getting on a competition stage. Next point know your judging criteria. So for the ICCAs and the ICHSAs, there are very clear guidelines all the way down. Each thing, tuning, precision, diction. The reason you wanna know your judging criteria is because this really ultimately is a game and you're playing the game, the game of Aka Survivor, and being able to tick each one of those boxes and make sure that you're doing something really impressive along each of the criteria, make sure that the judges will go, oh yeah, they thought about that. And sometimes in these competitions, one point can make all the difference. On the other hand, if you're doing the Harmony Sweepstakes, they have the most open judging criteria in the world. 50% music, 50% entertainment. What does this mean? I think it means to a very cerebral musical group, you need to make sure you up your entertainment value. And if you're a really fun, playful group that does a lot of comedy, you need to make sure your musicality is in line. But that's about it. Yin and yang, balance. Yin and yang, balance. Two more points that in my 20 plus years of Aka competition experience, I've seen to be the most important. The first one is to play to the audience, not the judges. If you're performing for the judges, you're gonna be up in your head the whole time, thinking about perfect tuning and rhythm and balance and blend and all this kind of stuff, and you're gonna shut down the emotional part of your performance. However, if you've rehearsed hard, you want to put all that stuff in the back of your mind and you want to sing with your heart, with your eyes open, with your energy out to the general crowd. If you win the crowd and they're screaming like crazy in the back of the judge's ears, you will do yourself a much greater service than just trying to tick all the boxes and, and impress a, a handful of judges. That 
always is the case. And, and the last, perhaps most important point of all, have fun. An acapella competition is basically ridiculous. I mean, you, there's no perfect ideal, this group is better than that group. No, it's all subjective. And, and in the end, it's a game, so you want to have fun with the game. And, and let the audience know that you're having fun, and let the judges know you're having fun. And, and most of all, walk away from the experience learning something from it, and have met other groups, and made new fans in the audience. The opportunity is there for you to either walk away feeling like a winner or a loser, or guaranteeing that you will walk away feeling like a winner. Which, if you have fun and you play to the audience, I guarantee you'll do every single time. Make sense? I hope it makes sense. If you have any questions, post them below and I'm happy to respond right back to you. And uh, yeah, go out there and kick ass this season. Ba -da -ba -ba -da, ba -da -ba -ba -da.